All right, here we go. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Tim Black. Welcome to the People's News. Bernie Sanders was in Seattle, Washington yesterday where he tried to give a speech about Medicare and Social Security. And uh, let's just say he didn't get a chance to really get to that because some members of the Black Lives Matter organization took the mic from him. That's right, they housed the mic. That's what we used to call it back in the day, early hip hop. Now, when I first heard about this, I was like, what? How does this help? This bad publicity, you up there taking the mic from old Bernie. Bernie means well. Then I had to look a little bit closer into it, do a little research. And I saw some of the Bernie Sanders fans. You know, your fans say a lot about who you are. You know, the people you attract. See, the, the Bernie Sanders fans, they want the folks to vote for Bernie, but they want them to shut up and vote for Bernie. And you don't get it that way. You got to earn the vote this time. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand Bernie Sanders marched with Martin Luther King. He had a sit-in. He got locked up. Something he did in the 50s or 60s. I understand. I respect it. I appreciate it. He gets a hit now. That means respect. But we're talking about 2016 to 2020 and who wants to be president of the United States and who wants our vote. And I say, hey, if you want my vote, I got to know what you're going to do about police brutality. And I don't just want flowery words. I want an eight-point plan. I got an eight-point plan put together that's going to put this thing together and we're going to do this and we got an initiative. that we That's the type of talk I want to hear. I don't want to just hear, well, black people are really nice people and we should stop killing them. What you going to do to make sure that happens? See, I see it both ways. I understand. People are like, look, Bernie's, he, Bernie, what, what, what you want? Trump? Huh? What do you want? Trump? Well, damn, there's other choices besides Trump and Bernie. There are a lot of other people in this thing. Can we be given the respect to say, hey, we don't have to vote Democrat if we don't want? Hell, we don't have to vote if we don't want. Do you, I mean, you do understand these concepts, don't you? Telling me to shut up don't really help like me want to vote for you. I know, I know, I know the crowd was there for Bernie. They weren't there to hear these sisters take the mic and start doing, talking about black people and police brutality. But on the same token, man, it's important to them. And, and hey, back in the day, Martin Luther King used to do sit-ins. They weren't very convenient. They weren't very polite. Like, excuse me, excuse me, everybody, sorry. Um, we're going to be sitting in and, and stopping the railroad system today or stopping the buses today. Sorry. Hope everybody's okay. Are you are you okay? Do you have water? Are, are, are you, have you been where you need to be for the next few hours? Because we're about to lock this shit down. No, that's not what Martin Luther King did. They just sat down. So everybody wants to say something about Martin Luther King and they forget how his tactics really rolled. Resistance is not polite. So I understand it. I see it. I I, I get it. And the me the reason why Black Lives Matter was at Bernie's speech and not at like say Huckleby's <laughs> is probably because they realized that Bernie is someone we might actually want to support, but only if he can just turn the corner on this thing that we care about, because that's the tipping point for us. And we know, no matter what Huckleby say, he, we so far apart on so many issues, ain't no reason to go to his rally and try to talk to him or push him to put create legislation. Unless he had a lobotomy, there would be nothing to talk about. I mean, he would have to have an out-of-body experience. He'd have to die and come back a black man, at least inside, for him to, for him to even have it. For that, it, There's nothing to talk about with Huckleby. All right? That's why. So, in a way, it's kind of like um, a positive that they want to talk to Bernie. Means there's hope, you know? All right. Guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. I hope that you, you see my point of this. Um, when there are people dying, the time for politeness 
is very thin. It's very short. We really don't have time to be polite. Though I would like us to be more polite and have a discourse. Black Lives Matter. Only thing I would say to you is that you are also running a campaign similarly to Bernie Sanders. You are voting for the, you are running for the position in places of hearts and minds of people all across the country. And you need to be aware of that as well. So while you are trying to get things done, think about the appearance. Appearances matter to you as well as Bernie Sanders. We need a lot of people in this coalition for Black Lives Matter to actually have the impact it could have for a real movement, for a movement with some real punch to get some stuff done. So let's think about that. I'm still down. Black Lives Matter. I'm still with it. All right. Let's just tweak it here and there. And it's going to be stumbles. All right. Bernie Sanders fans, you... Watch your mouths, okay? Because you are sitting around. You're going you're gonna to spoil it for Bernie thinking you helping. Shut up and just vote for him. It's the best you pick a ninny. I mean, it's the best you color. It's the best you can do. Help yourselves. Don't hurt yourself. He's all you got, you people. Somehow that doesn't make me want to run to the polls. I'm Tim Black. Comment, share, subscribe.